Hello and welcome back to another Lego Man Cave video. In this one, some major changes to the city, well needed, and a couple of new uh, modular buildings added. So keep on watching, make sure you hit subscribe and don't forget to leave us a comment, let me know what you think. So I'm gonna start off with my new builds and here they are. And here we have our new McDonald's and KFC, or should I say KFB. We'll start in alphabetical order, so KFC first. So they're relatively basic, and I like it. They're just like for little gap fillers in the city on the side, as I've said in previous videos. So if we look inside here, you can see you've got the kitchen, the fridge... You've got a little sitting area. You've got chicken and chips. Tiled off floor. Looks really, really good. Open door sign. Then we go to the second floor. You can see somebody's just got their bag of KFC. So they're going to open that. Somebody's munching chicken. Somebody's munching chips. And then that will sit like that. And then... I'm not very good at roofs, so we've just got a basic roof. But still, that is not too bad for a quick little mock. And now here we go for my McDonald's. Very similar layout. I've had to do a custom McDonald's sign. Same kind of kitchen, fridge freezer, eating counter with some blueberry ice cream. Buzz Lightyear's putting his order in. So yeah, there's that one. Then we go, I love how I've got the front of the upstairs with a bench at the cross. So somebody's just got their bag, somebody finishing fries, somebody's got a burger and chips. So again, we'll stick that on there. And then... As I say, I'm not the perfect mock person. I'm not very good at mocks. I just kind of do basic kind of things an eight-year-old could probably do. But until I get better, they are going to go into the city, and I'm quite happy with them. I, I do need to learn new techniques and skills and have the parts to do. So, I mean, that M looks absolutely shocking, but... It's the best I can do with what I've got. So just like before, they are next to each other again. This time they've got the train station, so whoever's munching can watch the train come past. They've got their own spots. They do stick out a little bit more than all the rest of them. But again, can always, at a later date, if I do decide to move the city around, I can make those bigger or I can move those to different places. These are like my jewellery shop style. I think I've got a style of build. Same with my fire station. I seem to be getting into a bit of a pattern. Same as my coffee shop. My 16 by 16 builds seem to be becoming some sort of a pattern <laughs> but we'll get there one day as i say i've never suggested or made any claim that i am a master builder so i'm casually driving down the road and i sat there and i think do you know what this might actually be a giant waste of space if i can try and do something where i have like a little rock band over with the uh, theme park area so it all ties into one then I could have like a school and a playground I can have a church um, and other buildings that you'd actually find in a town or a city and I could incorporate those into this and it would make it a hell of a lot better I'd love to have like a proper seaside but again that's what I'm gonna have to basically put up with for now but yeah I'm thinking if I scrap all this, possibly move Asda over to here so that there's no road ties and it all ties in better. Mills plate this properly. 
have a shuffle around around here somewhere. I want to try and put a bend on the train if possible. So I'll have a look and play with that. But yeah, I think it's time to shake this city up a bit. Oh no, the crowd has gone. Uh oh. Security has gone. Loki's going to get to the Avengers. And there's nobody around to help him. Or help them, should I say. Uh oh. So I've decided it's time for a reboot again. Still not happy with it, so I've got my little helper. <laughs> and we are going to strip all the minifigures out of the city. We're going to strip all the cars out of the city. And we're going to get it back to bare basics and have a bloody good shuffle around. Okay. So your job mm -hmm. is helping get all the people off. You ready? There's a thousand people. And the rest. <laughs> Time to start. You got the figures, I got the cars. Let's go. All right, so about 15, 20 minutes of footage and it didn't record. However, me and Courtney Yay! have managed to strip all of the people, all of the vehicles. Except for the ones in the houses. Yeah, we've kept some that are in the businesses or if there's any in the buildings. Or like the police like station. Like in here, yeah, the police station, we've left them. All the art everything else is in here so we've got vehicles planes bits and bobs uh we've got vehicles in the bottom there uh we've got courtney dancing <laughs> go on just a dance okay so everything is now stripped and done did next job to figure out what we're gonna do any ideas to what the city yeah we need to have a shuffle around don't we put that right here um put the that i don't know you ain't got a clue have you I know, put that. just put, smile and wave the, smile and wave put the skateboard here okay smile and wave <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. This little nutter down here. Oh, my brother's a worse one. Her brothers are worse, I'll give her that. <laughs> so we have got the city stripped all the way up. <laughs> and now we, what are you doing? <laughs> now we just need to figure out what's gonna go where. And we're gonna have a shuffle around with buildings, uh, roads. I might, I've been playing around with the idea I might even redo the train track. So oh, yeah. the city is going to be dismantled for a while. It's going to not have any people, any vehicles for a while because I want to focus on getting a final set of how I want my city. I'm just getting fed up of setting it up, don't like it, set it up, don't like it, and keep stripping in between, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, one thing that will stay is Man Cave for Man Cave City. Oh, Dad's in Man Cave City. Man Cave City? Dad's in Man Cave City. You're Dad's right. Man Cave City. And Dad. I am Lego Man Cave. You are Dad. To her, I'm Dad. <laughs> While I'm figuring it out, let you have a quick look Still, at all my favorite. turtles I... and my fish. Watch, watch. I told yeah, look, them... here's Dill. I taught them how to bite my finger. Go on, Dill. Everything nom, but nom, nom. every single... Oh, look, Dill's shedding again. Every single oh. time... Every single time people come round and they try doing it, they get scared because they think they're going to bite your finger off. Oh, they can't do that, can they? I know, I told them. How you, they mm -hmm. can't because there's a window. There's a turtle in there as well. See from the glare. And there's some fish. Where's me where's my knife fish gone? Don't. Hiding round the back. Oh, there he is. 
There's the knife fish hiding at the back and now you can see the other turtle. Hello. So as you can imagine, I'm trying to figure out how and where everything is going to go. I don't know what I want where. I know I need to... I want to redo the school because I don't like that version of the school. Ideally, I don't want any open backs or thin ones, but is what it is. I haven't got the parts to modulise them into normals. I mean, I like this kind of style because at least I can. I've got to work on the on my roofing skills. I know that much. Still can't believe I had that set up on top of Asda and it only recorded three and a half minutes. So much for my epic time lapse. But yeah, so we've got the coffee shop here. So we've got the coffee shop, we've got McDonald's, we've got KFC, we've got the jewellery. I mean, the fire station, you know, that's across two 32 by 32 base plates along with the jewellery store. That is two plates. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But it just kind of looks odd, matched up next to there. Do you know what I mean? I need to try and figure out a better layout. It might mean taking that piece out and just having it come solid. I don't know. I don't know. I think Asda might have to come over here. But again, I don't know if these buildings are coming over here yet. I don't know if I'm just going to minimise the amount of roads, even though I've got a load of vehicles. I want to try and put a bend in the train. So where am I going to put the train stations and the track? Am I going to leave it there? I mean, if you guys have got any ideas and helpful tips, please leave comments down below. We've got... Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirty-two plates down. That I think is like a twenty-eight or something like that. It's one that's been cut. Uh, they're 40, uh, 48 studs. That's forty-eight studs. Uh, so yeah, what's that? Three deep, obviously. And then one, two, three, four, and a 48 going wide. So, and that's just on this bit. That's not including the width from down there. So, yeah, if you've got any ideas, let me know down below. So, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to have a play around, and we'll see what it looks like in the next video.